Hey guys, Susie and Travis here from the Wolf Hunters. Be a reaction video for you. This link that's below me is in the description box. When you click it, what happens, Travis? If you click it, you can pick it. You can request your own personal reaction video what? for music, movie scenes, comedy, sports, live performances, whatever. Woo. Today's video is brought to you by Dolphin. Dolphin bringing us Kermudgeon, Kermudgeon. by Nirvana. By Nirvana. I've never heard Kermudgeon. of such a word. Kermudgeon. 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 What are you doing? There we go. All right. Kermudgeon. 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 It's an English word meaning a bad tempered person, especially an, an old, old one. one. Interesting. Sourpuss. Old trout. Sore. <laughs> Crank. A bear with a sore head? What? I've never heard of any of these. I mean, I've heard of a sourpuss. Oh, my goodness. Anyways. All right. Okay. Dolphin says. Dolphin says, hey, guys, you are probably familiar with the more pop side of Nirvana yes. from their big hits like Smells Like Teen Spirit yeah. and Lithium. But I've always thought of the best, uh, thought the best of Nirvana can... Be found oh. in their lesser known material, much of which can be far more raw and aggressive oh. than the songs most people are familiar with. Kermudgeon is a great example of that. It was one of three songs recorded live in the studio on April 7th, 1992. I didn't know that they were heavier. Well, all I'm saying is this I have to add this word to my vocabulary because yeah. I think sometimes people be acting like curmudgeon. Yeah. So is that how you say it? Like, is it like, oh, the curmudgeon are out? Or is it like, you're such a curmudgeon? Like, how does one use this in a sentence? Comment below. Ready? Unnecessarily getting these text messages. You're just so popular. I want to uh, rewind this. That's shenanigans. Are you okay? Yeah, I don't know. I forget how to use the phone. Let's just start over. <laughs> <laughs> It definitely has a more raw sound, especially in the vocals. Sounds very raw. I like it. Yeah. Yes, I feel like I'm almost like I'm like at a like a live show or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
So what's wild is that you can clearly recognize Nirvana. You yeah. can recognize Kurt Cobain. You can yeah. recognize like certain sound elements and mm -hmm. rhythms and patterns. But simultaneously, this sounds like completely different. Mm -hmm. Like it sounds like almost like a whole new, like I don't want to call it a genre, but it's like it just has like a completely different sound than the, uh, what you would say, like the more pop songs of Nirvana. I literally only know like three songs from Nirvana. Yeah. Don't judge me. But I literally realized what Smells Like Teen Spirit meant like <laughs> last year. So I feel like I can't really speak too much about knowing the typical pop sound of Nirvana yeah. when, you know. Yeah. Now, obviously, it's grunge. We're just talking about the more popular stuff that was just played on like TV and radio. The radio, radio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know a better way to put it. Same band, different project. Dang, just like that, though. Yeah. I'm curious to hear more. I didn't know. Yeah. I, you know, I like I, like you mentioned that we only know certain. Yeah, you know, I think certain I songs. literally so this only is cool know. Getting like, to dive a little deeper here. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for that songs. one. Yeah. If you guys want to request your own personal reaction video, you can find this link right here in the description box, which is below the video. There's a blue link. Click it and pick it. Music, movie scenes, comedy skits uh sports all kinds of things like that like subscribe comment below stay tuned stay positive we love you guys so much we'll see you next time bye bye